Well, some of the funniest things happened with shoes. Just a couple years ago, one of our bowlers got finished bowling and he grabbed a pair of sh boots that he thought was his, they were just like his, that he got all the way back to Elvin before he realized that they weren't his shoes. My name's Larry Pulling. I'm the owner of the Edinburgh Lanes Lookout Lounge. There was a lot of owners before me, but I've been here for 43 years as the owner. I bought the center in 1975 from Dennis Porto. Uh, we ran it as a 12 lane center until about 12 years ago. I think it was, I don't know what year it was now. About 12 years ago, we added uh, eight lanes and our uh, lookout lounge. We took out the pool, pool hall, uh, hoping that it would mean more to the town of Edinburgh and the surrounding areas. Bowling is a great sport. You know, you can do it from your four years old to 104, and we have bowlers here that are over 90 years old that still bowl and still love it. And Last game was 299, I had 298 and 297. My son's had 18 300s. Yeah, he's pretty tough. I have to do almost everything there is to do or know how to do it. If somebody else can't do it, I'm the one that has to do it. From mechanic to uh, janitor to shoveling the snow every, we always, I always make sure in the winter time that our sidewalks are the cleanest around here. So somebody doesn't fall and get hurt. I, I'd feel awful if somebody got hurt because there was ice. My favorite part of being here is all the new people that I meet, and I always consider my customers as my friends. So anything that happens is, I take it very personally. I get hurt very easily, <laughs> and uh, but you know most of the time everybody's just great, and that's what it means to me. But, uh, the last few years have been tough for a lot of bowling centers in the country. Probably over half of them have gone gone under because of uh, people are so busy now and they enjoy their computers and cell phones and stuff so it makes it very difficult. The problem with this area is this junior bowlers, uh, once they graduate from high school they go off to college and a lot of them don't come back because there's not a lot to keep people in this area anymore and it's uh, that's the reason the decline of bowling around here. We had 30 some leagues now we have five or six leagues and they're not full either so it's been very difficult for the last few years. Well I'm going to retire uh, on the 15th of this month I'm going to retire we just didn't make enough money to pay all of our bills. Um, we tried, and maybe somebody new will be able to keep it going. We're hoping that happens. What I want is a center to stay here in Edinburgh so that people in Edinburgh have a, a center to go to and enjoy. And, Maybe now that people realize uh, what they could lose, um, that would be uh, people would find time to come here. Well, it was a place to, for me to come every day, seven days a week, but I really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the people, enjoyed the work. Uh, that's why I stayed as long as I did. And uh, this past week where all these people are coming in and saying what I meant to them, and it's uh, been difficult uh, saying goodbye to everybody.
Good luck. Hope you have a new center. And if you don't, I'm sorry. But, uh, and I want to thank everybody that came here for all these years and, and supported us. Uh, it's very important to me. Thank you.